Hi everybody, Laura here. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to share this fun card with you. These are some products that came out in the Falling For You release and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. Well, some of them I have, but like I haven't done it on video. So this is the Dots Circles die. I think it's so cool. I haven't cut it apart because I just kind of love it how it is. And I am taking some post-it tape, which I in the end, I realized I did not need to use all my post-it tape. All I needed to do was, you know, like take a pencil and kind of draw because I'm going to die cut this and cropping it off into that bottom right corner. And but before I do that, I want to do a little ink blending. So I kind of needed to know, you know, how much ink blending I needed to do because I didn't want to ink blend the whole panel. But so you, you see, you know, a card's an evolution. I didn't realize I needed to, you know, just draw a pencil line, but I put all that post-it tape on there. Whatever the case, we're moving on to the ink blending. I'm starting with hydrangea ink. Uh, these are all Simon Says Stamp ink, some of my favorite colors. I love ink blending. I love doing the bright rainbow ombre heavenly wonderfulness. You know, I do it so often. And then once I get this all ink blended, I'm going to die cut that dots, circles, die right into this ink blended. Now look at my doll pink. Can you see that white ink on there? My daughter, Emma, put that on there. and But you see how it rubs right out? No, not a problem. But the one day she comes, well, probably every other day she comes over when I'm working. Mom, I want to stamp too. I want to make a card. And I'm like, oh, please don't say that. Because <laughs> then she gets into my stuff. And the one day she took dull pink and a white ink pad. And she stamped something in white and then went right into the dull pink. So she got the white ink on my dull ink pad and yeah, these are the kind of things I got to deal with, people. I'm trying not to lose my temper, but when people mess up with my ink pads, Mama gets a little bit angry. So here I'm just using Sunshine, Orange Peel, Doll Pink, and Hydrangea. And look at that. Beautiful. Now take off that post-it tape, and I will die cut that circle, dots, circle, dots, circles, die right into there. And this is what it looks like when you take it off. Now, right here, what I should have done was take some of that press and seal. Have you ever seen how you can take that press and seal and put it right on and so everything stays intact, holds together? Because I'm going to be putting some foam tape on the back of each one of these tiny little circles. Yes, I know I'm crazy. I know this is insane, but you got to have dimension. So I'm going to use that outline as a guide and then put all my little dots so you can see here I'm, I'm aligning this on the corner to use as a guide and then there's about three that actually stayed intact and the rest of them I'm gonna have to finagle my way and put them on there now see if I would have used the press and seal it would have all held together by the way you probably already all know this Jennifer McGuire's husband invented press and seal how cool is that how cool is that and you know what I've never even bought press and seal. I don't know why I use saran wrap or whatever, but I've never even bought press and seal. I have, I have no good reason for that. But I'm going to get some because for stuff like this, it would be so handy dandy. So anyway, I'm just going back and forth and putting all these little circles into their place. And they're sticking to my fingers. And it's not perfect, but, you know, once you remove that outline circle die, you it, it looks perfect. You know what I mean? No one will ever know the difference. So here I've got them all ready. I'm removing that guide, and it's just awesome. I love this kind of stuff. Bright color, graphic design, simple, a lot of white. I love a lot of white. Now here's another little piece from the inside. I've got some little slivers of foam tape. I'm not going to lie, cutting slivers of foam tape, not my favorite thing to do, but, you know, it was a price to pay to get the dimension. You know, there's always a price to pay for beauty. Okay, so I'm just working it here, and then I'm taking this Circle Sayings stamp set, and you can see how I've trimmed mine, because there have been occasion where I needed to uh, manipulate it to fit the design, and you can see here that I had to actually manipulate it just a smidge, because it was a little bit smaller, and that's why when I trim it, it works out perfectly. You can get it to fit any size circle you need. So I say, don't ever be afraid to trim your clear stamps. You can get a whole lot more mileage out of it. See, I've used this same exact stamp, and I've stamped it on an arch. So I didn't use it as a circle. I used it as an arch. And, and that's fabulous. That's the thing about it. You get more bang for your buck when you trim it. And you can always put them back together in their original form if need be. 
So what I'm trying to say is trimming is a good thing, except there are an exceptions. Do not trim your kids' bangs too short or your own bangs. You ever seen somebody? I'm not a huge bangs person. I'm kind of like more let it all go. But the worst of the worst is when somebody cuts their bangs too short. And I know sometimes it happens, but you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, beware of trimming your bangs too short. So anyhow, got off the rails there on that one, but this card is finished. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.